All right, just bought my first depth finder. I researched pretty heavy for about a month and a half, uh, the big three with Garmin, Lowrance, and Hummingbird. I uh, wanted to spend, I wanted to be in a 230 range, a little, little bit below that if I could, and a bunch of things come up. You can get the, the regular Garmin's without the down imaging, which was the most important thing to me, um, about a hundred bucks. Then you get the Hummingbird uh, Prana Max, which is beneficial. It did have a down image on the wand and it had a good picture of it, but it didn't come with the GPS maps and you can't split the screens. Like in, in this Garmin, you see here, you can split screens so you could do traditional sonar and then your down imaging. So that's what sold me on this. Uh, and the other thing that sold me too was just the ability to have the maps here. I just bought uh, my first boat, uh, Lund Fury 1600 Tiller. Uh, I'm taking the smaller lakes that I don't know. So I just, I know that going into a lake, if I, I can understand, just have a map with where the depth is and where the drop offs are, it's going to help me go a little bit quicker. So it'll save a lot of time. Um, so anyway, what I want, I didn't, I, just being a new boat, I didn't want to drill a bunch of holes in it, into it. I'm sure I will eventually, but. I would like at some point to get the side imaging once I get more comfortable with these in a couple of years, just go with side imaging once I master the down imaging and the sonar. Uh, so what I did decide to do is I bought this from Walmart. It's just a ammo box, drill the hole right there. Saw it on another video, something similar, and uh, he didn't have it mounted here, but I just kind of thought, why don't I just do that? And then I'll just put this next to me. I'm sitting on my right with my left. I'll put it to my right and either put it on the, on the um just straight on the floor or on one of the seats to the left there so what you can do here is 12 volt battery in here uh, it's buried down in there somewhere and then that's the transducer i've yet to mount uh, i'll do that and then just mount the transducer plug in there and be ready to roll 12 volt battery i found at walmart it was in the hunting uh section those are kind of a pain in the ass to track down uh, but i was able to find one at a walmart all right, so there's a couple of things I, that I decided that I, why I wanted this. So the main one here, um, you can customize what you see. So I put down imaging and then the maps up there so it won't show up because it's in simulator mode. Um, you can also, and you can reorder those too. Or you can just do just your clear view down imaging. Um, you can split and do one and two, which is another thing. The hummingbird, you can't do this. And this kind of sold me just being able to see them both. Uh, at the same time and just, just differentiating like that picture right there what those might be um so what else I like about this the flasher i i have not ever used a flasher i've never ice fished before but i watched a video on what the flasher actually is and it's pretty damn cool um primarily fish for walleye and i'll cast and, and jig i don't i haven't i've never done vertical jigging but I, with this i can see the benefits of that if you of, of that if you do find a sandbar and locate walleye the um the uh flasher can be a good tool for you so look at look up that if you haven't used that before um so yeah i mean just the comparisons they're all they're all the depth finders are good they all have things i liked about them this one i just originally i, I thought i would hate the vertical display but what sold me in was just being able to see the two screens at once and it's really not as bad as i thought it would be i mean it's not you know i'll be able to see everything on it um and then the gps like i said was just a big plus this does come with with really good this is the clear view um the vivid it um it comes with a really good picture uh, hummingbird does as well but i just the, there's different garments you can buy a hundred dollar 140 and then the <clears throat> this one's 179 i actually bought it from dicks um i, I was gonna buy it from bass pro shops they give you 20 dollars off sent out for a credit card didn't want to do that so Dix will give you $20 off if you just put your email address, just log on, like sign up for the rewards program, just put an email address in there and they'll give you 20 bucks off. It's it's really hard to find less than 179 if you, unless you go to eBay. Uh, there's a couple on eBay that were just from sellers that hadn't, I, they have no reviews. I just wasn't comfortable going with someone that has no reviews. Um, <clears throat> and then everywhere else, like, I mean, like Walmart, Dix, uh, Bass Pro Shops, I mean, other smaller name retail stores it's all 179 so i was able to get it 20 dollars off uh so 159 plus 10 in shipping so it's a pretty good deal because it because it comes with so much and we'll see how this works out it, it seems like it'll be good but again this is about 10 pounds so i, I can't imagine it moving too much to the right and to the left 
smaller legs. I don't anticipate being in a bunch of chop. Um, so we'll see how it works out. And then this will bend full back and forward. You put a little elbow grease in there to get it up and down. Uh, battery is really easy to set up. Everything you need comes in here. You got a transducer mounted on the boat. Don't have it yet. Um, but the dealership or the uh, yeah dealership's gonna mount it on there for me, and then I'll be ready to roll. So this was just my solution to not drill holes in the boat. Um, and if if you are taking it, um, I guess with the transducer, it's really once you mount it, you mount it. But it it makes it pretty much portable. So we'll see how it works. Just wanted to share because I know I've watched our <clears throat> 50 videos on this, and uh, this helped me decide. So hopefully there's something in here. And, Maybe this setup will be something that works for you. Uh, what I did do to screw it in is it comes with screws, but I just went to hardware store and just bought different screws so I could actually screw them down there. Um, it seems like I put a little sloop super glue on there too, but I don't think these things are going to go anywhere. So that's what I decided. Let me know if you have any questions or any suggestions. Um, first time using this, I'm going to pretend to be an expert.